Joey Bull. Only 48 hours to go before the next live show. There is no time for faffing around. Getting ready for the weekend are these beauties. Always bang on the money. Alexandra and Corker! <laughs> oh, getting ready for the rumba. Uh, plus, the toughest dance competition on TV continues with the second instalment of the Strictly Pro Challenge. <laughs> ah, but first up, the costume department may have gone into overdrive at the weekend, but one woman takes it all in her stride. It's time to put on the kicks. <laughs> on Blackpool, another epic year yeah. of costumery. <laughs> uh, are you glad it's over a little bit, perhaps? I'm always glad when it's over, because it's, it's probably the biggest thing that we all do, and yeah. all the team works so hard, so they're, you know, they're, they're a little bit tired, but they did fantastic, and it's kind of like, you know... A big, I know, well big done, thank you, the whole gang. Yeah. There's millions of you <laughs> working in very small spaces up there. Let's talk about Molly's incredible dress yeah. and outfit, because you showed us the sketch last week. Look yeah. how she dazzled yeah. out on the floor. Amazing. How much did it change from sketch to the floor? It didn't change too much. This one was pretty solid um, as we went up to Blackpool. Ash did a fab job with all of the detail you can see on the sides there. We put a little bit more weight in the skirt when we were yeah. up there. And costumes like this, we've got to really stitch everyone in before they go live. So they have to be patient. Sometimes it's hard for them because they're Because they're, they're nervous. They and yeah, I know the yeah. heart rate's going, isn't it? Yeah. I must ask as well, how do you, uh, you know, protect one's modesty <laughs> when you're sort of being flung around in the air? Lexicon lots of mode. stitching in. There's yeah. lots of um, tiny stitches around the knicker line and straps. Yeah. You know, everyone's big safe. Big pants. Big They're the way forward, people. I've always said that. <laughs> okay, this weekend, a yep. little challenge for you: the Paso Doblathon. Yeah. Seven. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly got it. Um, seven couples on the floor at the same time. They all yep. want to stand out. They're like judges. Look at me. Yeah. How do you do that with the outfits? Quite difficult. Everybody's on a level playing field. All yeah. the girls have got the same shape costume, um, the same amount of volume in the skirt, but they've got a different colour accent. So we're being really fair. Okay. Um, they've all got a cape. Each. I don't know if they're all using them. Can you imagine cape seven fights? capes? Yeah. There's going to be eyes <laughs> are going on all sorts. Right. Okay. Um, the boys are looking really dapper this year. They've all got a more traditional pasodoble jacket. It seems to be that the guys have wanted that this year, so we're following that through on this week's uh, number. It's going to be a lot of chest yeah. on the floor. <laughs> OK, uh, we're going to look at this weekend's costumes. First of all, a sketch yep. for Nadia. Her and yep. David are doing a waltz. Yep. Uh, the, oh, the, wow, look at that. It looks absolutely stunning. Oh, I know. <laughs> the crowd. Um, what can you tell us about this? Um, this is one for the little girls, isn't it? It's pretty typical ballroom dress. I think it's going to look lovely on set. Um, there's an eight panel underneath a tulle. Overskirt from the waist, sure. lots of crystal on a rose pink base. Um, we've got a Georgette in the base skirt, lots of crin because you know how much you like your crin. Yeah, uh, I love this one. This would be brilliant with a bit of crin. <laughs> uh, is it expensive crin? It, probably not for a meter, but when you need okay. about thirty meters, it's asking starts, uh, for a friend. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, excellent. So that looks beautiful. And David going traditional. Tails traditional. Oh, yeah. It looks so dashing. Be, yeah. Um, Katya, uh -huh. Joe and Katya are <laughs> being construction workers. That's right. Of course they are. Um, how do you make a construction worker strictly? Very difficult, uh -huh. really. One, it's one of those ones when you look at the concept. I'm yeah. scared of heights as well, so they've got all these images of them on steel. Oh, like when they're building the skyscrapers. Bit, yeah, it makes oh. me go a bit twitchy, but that's what she is this week, supposedly. Um, we're using a collot pattern again. Yeah. We've used it a couple of times this series. Alex had a, um, a pair last week, thought it worked well. So we're using that again, so there's lots of free movement. She's got splits again up the centre of the leg, and we've got a burgundy um, detail running down through the belt. Collarless shirt, so there'll be a little bit of a kind of dumbed down workwear feel, okay. but strictly, she's still and got to be glamorous. So, she, and Katja always, <laughs> always looks so amazing. Glamorous. Debbie McGee, or should we call her <laughs> Flexi McGee, will do an Argentine tango this weekend in this little number. <laughs> oh, I know. This is incredible. Yeah, I, Talk I, us I through love it. Flexi McGee, I love that. <laughs> we love, uh, that's it's a title. great moniker, she's got it forever now. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Um, we chose black for Argentine tango. I think we need a traditional colour for the number yeah. on set. 
Giovanni's going to be in tuck, so it's going to feel very traditional within the set and what they're doing. I felt that if we had a solid black dress, it would be too much for Debbie because she's tiny. Yeah. So we've got a nude base, lots of crystal AB crystals, and as you can see, we've got black embellishment. Once we fitted it tomorrow, I imagine that I'm going to fade all of the jewellery stones through this top neck and then fade it off so it may shape around into that left side. Little tip for the Argentine tango yeah. dressers is that because they're doing lots of flicks, they often get their heel caught in a stretched hem. So we tried to put a non-stretch lining just so to help the foot slip away. Slide away. Yeah. These are the tips you need, people. <laughs> and you'll be the doing sight it on of this night. delightful purple cloth can mean only one thing. <laughs> it's the mystery mannequin. <laughs> to unveil Alexandra's outfit for the rumba. So let's welcome the girl herself, Alexandra! <laughs> It's amazing. Can I just Thank say, you. what are you hoping for underneath well, this, this cloth? This is the thing. Everything that I've worn so far has been absolutely amazing. They <laughs> do such an, an amazing job. And I've loved every single one, haven't I? I, I think you have, yeah. 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 I, 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 I want to keep them all, but I'm not allowed. Actually, actually I know you do want to keep them. them. You have to give them back. It's terrible. Yeah. OK, you ready for the big drum yeah. roll, please? Remember, it's not finished. Okay, it's okay. a normal Friday okay. thing. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I love that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look, uh, what are you loving in particular? But just, because it, it's so bodycon, it's yeah. beautiful, and all of the jewels, this must have taken ages. Look at that, they're so neat Gorgeous. as well. How, how much might it change, Vicky? It's the hem. So yeah. what we've done, we've got a, fr a fringe hem at the moment. If we keep this fringe hem, it'll be thinned out and it'll be much more sheer, so we'll see a lot oh, more of you. If, because um, Gorka will have a say, won't he? Yeah, Gorka yeah, will have yeah, a yeah, say. Oh, if, oh, he, yeah. if he <laughs> thinks <laughs> it needs to be a bit more floaty, <laughs> right. um, we may have softer um, floats okay. on the hem, and we may use one of the softer colours, but as soon as we do the fitting, we'll know. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and a deep V, because she wears a deep V well. I've learned that much. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Alexandra and Vicky Gay. Yeah. Dismissed. Right, now yeah. it's time to dive headfirst into the training rooms to see how David, Gemma and Susan's routines are shaping up. I've got some ideas. I was thinking that if you sort of took the panel out the side. As a dance, the waltz can be very exposing. You have to make sure that your weight's in the right position, that you're aware of your body, your alignment. Very much like this. Okay. It's such a difficult dance, especially for a man to have to control it all because it's very smooth and really nice and elegant. It's going to be challenging for me uh, to be beautiful and elegant. Not finding it easy. One beautiful. We have to make sure it just goes right. When I get it right, it will be beautiful. <laughs> Samba, it's a carnival dance. Once. It's a lot of hips, bounce, action. It's really hard. I can't get the movements, I can't get the rhythm. Step and cross. Jamma's bounce is coming along really nicely. Not with the right steps at the moment. I feel like my legs are wrong. They're not. It's like the whole Cuban women vibe, and I ain't got anything like that about me. It stays. Once you get the technique right... It's like you're playing snooker. You can just breeze through the whole dance. Wow. I've got to pull my socks up, sort my hips out, and, and go and do it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this week we're doing the American Smooth. This is a lovely kind of gentle Fred and Ginger style, and it's much more fun and much more joyous, which I think is, is how we started the competition. Are we courting? Yeah, we're courting. Earlier in the series, we were criticised for our lack of grace, and this dance is all about grace. Then we're going to do our first little lift. These are graceful and elegant American smooth lifts. <laughs> <laughs> graceful and elegant, Darcy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that what you're wanting? That lift looks quite incredible. Courting, that's a good term. Uh, the competition may be heating up in the ballroom, but our pros' minds are now focused on something much more important. Yesterday, the pro challenge returned to your screens to critical acclaim as AJ's swivelling skills were put to the ultimate test. Before we meet our next brave contender, here's a reminder of just what they're up against. This year's Strictly Pro Challenge is heading back in time to the Roaring Twenties, where our pros will attempt to set a Guinness World Records title for the most Charleston swivel steps in 30 seconds. In order for the swivel step to qualify, our pros will have to complete one forward and one backward step. If there's no swivel in the feet and ankles, the step will be disqualified. This year's challenge will be the hardest our pros have ever faced but only one person can claim the title. It's the Strictly Pro Challenge 2017. 
Oh, thank you, Ian. Time to welcome our next contender. Born in the city of Bilbao, España, he began dancing at the age of 12. And despite representing Spain in the World Latin Championships, he has spent the last 27 years without a single world record to his name. Is that about to change? Give it up for the G to the C, Gorga the Corga! <laughs> much lovely to see you uh, this is only your second pro challenge Gorka uh, last year you were two steps behind the champion I your know. dear dancing rival Giovanni Paniche you're practicing I know have you gotten over that have you managed to let that no, pass now I didn't let it go I need you... to let it go <laughs> I know oh and a song um, just how hard did you train for the Charleston swivels not much because I didn't remember that it was that day so I was like, oh, it's today. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> so I was like, let me practice. I was like, <laughs> You're supposed to take this seriously. No, that's fine. Um, Eagle-eyed viewers may have spotted you do like to spend a little bit of time in the gym. I do. Can all that pumping iron help with swivel? Not really. I tried to do swivels <laughs> on the treadmill, but I fell down, so no. <laughs> I love you. Uh, right, AJ showed us his swivel yesterday. Yes. Quite impressive. Um, have you got what it takes to beat his great score of 17? I think so. You think so? Yeah, I think so. OK, I like his confidence. <laughs> Brace yourself, Gorka. Let's see how you got on. Here we go. Giovanni won last year, but I was only two points away. So this year, I will try my best to be maybe in front of him. Hello Gorka and Hello. welcome to the Strictly Pro Challenge. How are you feeling today? A little bit nervous. I have the energy. I don't know if I will hold this 30 second swivel, but <laughs> I have the energy. <laughs> so the technique's very important and Bill will be scrutinising all of your swivels. So make sure you get it right. No pressure. <laughs> Please take your position on Thank the dance you. floor. For your official attempt, beginning in three, <clears throat> two, one, go. Already. 15 seconds. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Ah, oh, well done. A lovely little turn on the end there. Well done. Ooh, my cuffs. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looked very accurate to me. What did you think, Bill? There's a possible a couple there yeah. you missed out on, and I think you'd have helped yourself if you'd have lifted yeah. your arms. OK. As soon as you drop there, the uh -huh. weight goes onto the feet, and if you pull up, it keeps it lighter. OK, yeah. thank you. Well done, well done. Thank you. OK, Gorka, well, it was a great attempt. We'll have to wait and see how you got on. OK, thank you, judges. Thank well done. You. I think it went very well. The last 15 seconds was quite hard. I understand now how these celebs feel after two days doing Charleston, we've never done it before. You, uh, I love how you thank the judges there as well. Uh, you're pretty exhausted there. Do you think you I might was. have underestimated that challenge? No, okay. I was. And like, and like I said, it's very hard. You just have to feel your like, ankles, your calves, very tight. Bless the celebrities when they are doing the Charleston. I know, now you understand yeah. how they feel. Uh, well, after each of the professionals had made their attempt, the footage was watched back by adjudicators in slow motion to verify every single swivel to make sure they were all accurate. Watching that back, Gorka, any illegal swivels there, do you reckon? Mm, I think maybe a couple, like Bill said, maybe, yeah, I okay. remember the, like maybe one or two, no, Right at the end, like, not very good. OK, well, I can tell you that you actually had two steps disqualified. Ready for this? Can't keep him in suspense any longer. Gorka the Corka. In uh, 30 segundos, Whoa. you completed... Charleston Swivels, which makes you second on the leaderboard. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. 
really, I'm so sorry. A they're wrong. hug, please. They're wrong. Oh, yes. Come to Mama. You need a hug. I, my job, it's a nightmare, this job. It's a nightmare. Um, there's only two of you on the board there. Okay, so AJ up there still was 17. Who out of the other 13 pros still to go do you think could take the title, Gorka? Yeah, I think the title... I think it's going to be maybe Anton. Anton? I don't know why, Anton but he's a, a keen on the Charleston. OK. Maybe Anton, yeah. Watch this space. He did brilliantly. Give it Mom, up for Mark second. Your second. For now. Uh, next up, a timely reminder that our Strictly pros are so much more than just dancers. They're also incredibly committed bingo players. Take a look at this.